balancing, uh, it's been a while since I've done this, balancing the two things, the two aspects of reality, balancing uh, spirituality and the physical reality, survival and understanding, I suppose, or rather understanding and survival. The spirituality is like understanding what's happening. Like truly understanding what's happening so that you don't get angry. If you're getting angry, it's because you're not understanding because your spirituality you don't is unclear for whatever reason because you haven't examined yourself. Maybe you have a block in your mind because you are holding back truth. And that's okay to do that, actually, I'm finding. It's okay to not say everything on your mind. That's the balance. The spirituality is one aspect of reality. And we're not just spirits floating around. That's what happens when you die. You just become a full-on spirit. When you're living, you have to focus on survival as well as spirituality. You don't have to focus on spirituality. You don't have to. You can just focus on survival and make money if you want. And make a lot of money, eat a lot of good food, have a big house, have people around you taking care of you, have a lot of sex. really sounds like the life survival only but that's why everyone's so focused on survival survival live comfortably that a lot of people are are falling by the wayside like we gotta we gotta reach out our hands gotta reach out our hands Dewan I'll maybe I'll respond to you in this because I just watched your video man and now I and then all of a sudden I got inspired to make this video and I I'm with you that about how people outside of YouTube kind of... I mean, you can't really know what this is until you do it. Talk to people over the Internet. There's, there's no... You, you can say anything you want, and there's, you, there's nothing that's going to happen. There's no fear. There's no fear of getting hit. You know, you can call people out on emotion. You can be emotional. It's a very safe way to communicate. And it's, a, it's like a spiritual building playground, a building ground, the internet, internet video. I'm very nervous right now. The balance, almost like the balance is I, I shouldn't even be talking. But then I want to talk. I want to talk. I want to, I want to have more people. I want to involve more people. I want more subscribers. Man, it's the ego. That's the ego. Like, why do I want more? I like what I have. I do like what I have, actually. I really like what I have. Although I'm very fucking frustrated. See? How it, how it, how it happens? I just can't sit around talking about how it's amazing all the time. I can't do that. Or I'm going to die. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that if you wanted me to, I kind of wanted me to. I kind of wanted to go do this on this crusade of like self and self indulgence of like truth, just utter truth all the time, but man, I would end up homeless. I would end up homeless and dying. Unless someone took me in, unless like but then it's like a cult, like people support me so that I can be truth all the time. And that's not helping anyone, ultimately, because you have to inspire people to do it by, by doing it. We can do anything, so I hear. We can do anything as people. I can't do it by myself and I was pushing so hard that the resistance was picking up it's like wind resistance in a car when you're going 60 miles an hour the wind resistance is pretty heavy when you go 70 though it's not like it just increases like between 50 and 60 then it goes 60 to 70 the resistance starts to exponentially increase to the point where you're slamming on the gas and your car's just not going any faster because wind resistance has you've hit it you've hit the wall and that's what I feel like happened I hit the wall and I, I 
I can t- go on and on about truth and, and being real and being genuine and opening up my own life, but if other people aren't doing it at the same pace, then I'm, I'm, I'm isolating myself from people. I'm separating from the pack and I'm going to die. It's something that humanity has to do together. It's something that humanity has to do together. So the nice thing is that we are doing it together on YouTube. It's like a revolution. The revolution may not be televised, but it's on the Internet. And now, and then the patience comes in for me, which is something I've always, I've always had issues with is patience. I, when I want something, I want it, and I take it. And that's how I've lived my life, and that's why I'm in Los Angeles, that's why I was in Chicago. It was like a spur-of-the-moment stuff. I just decided I wanted to do it, and I did it. I decided I wanted to go to college for acting, so I did it. I actually went for broadcast journalism. I decided I wanted to buy a car. I just did it. I do it. I go, I do. That's how I am. But, unfortunately, that doesn't carry you through. If you push too hard, then you're just going to get pushed back at. So, I've been... Stepping back, and then it's like I'm out of the public eye, and I feel like I feel like I'm not affecting people as much as I want to be. I want to have fucking 50 messages a day from people, and then you know what? And then I get the 50 messages a day, and I'm like, ah, I don't want to respond to all these messages. This fucking seesaw. <sighs> Life is a seesaw. It's constant waves crashing on the beach. I mean, that's what life is. It's a giving and taking. It's the, it's the pushing and the pulling. Every push, every emotional, when we push and we give, people pull back. And when, when we pull back, people come and they push and they want to know more. So the balance, I hate that. I hate that because I want to give and I want people to instinctively give back. Why can it not be that way? Why can it not be that way? That I give, and then people give. And we give together to create something great. What's stopping that? What is this ridiculous... This, this contradiction that we've been thrust into? Where we give, and other people pull back. It's like creates leaders and followers, and that's not what this is about. This is about leaders creating leaders, and leading side by side everyone so we can I know we can it's a change it's a change that we have to do consciously we consciously have to change